This Channel 7 Sports Update is brought to you by Fiesta Cancun Grill. Give your taste buds a thrill at Fiesta Cancun Grill. Located in Cookville along Highway 70. With your Channel 7 Sports Update, I'm Chase Scott. There was lots of action across the Upper Cumberland this weekend. In girls high school basketball, the Cookville Lady Cavs defeated the Warren County Pioneers 62-36 in the 6th AAA quarterfinals. And the Smith County Lady Owls defeated the Upper Men Lady Bees 55-39. In boys basketball, the Upper Men Bees defeated the Cannon County Lions 64-46. The Pickett County Bobcats beat the Monterey Wildcats 51-38 and the Sparta Warriors defeated the Ray County Eagles 82-49. In college basketball, the TTU Golden Eagles women's team defeated the Moorhead State Eagles 71-58 on Saturday. The men's team was a different story as the Golden Eagles lost to Moorhead State 53-79. The Missouri Tigers defeated the Tennessee Vols 75-70. The Vanderbilt Commodores defeated the Aggies of Texas A&M 57-54 and the third-ranked Florida Gators remain unbeaten in the SEC with a win over the 14th-ranked Kentucky Wildcats, 69-59. And in case you missed it, Team USA's men's hockey team defeated Russia 3-2 Saturday in an instant classic. The match went to a shootout where T.J. Oshie of the St. Louis Blues made all four of the shots. They were back in action on Sunday morning and beat Slovenia 5-1. The Atlanta Braves continue to lock up their core of young players, after signing starting pitcher Julio Tehran earlier in the week, the Braves were able to sign closing pitcher Craig Kimbrell to a four-year, $42 million extension. For your Channel 7 Sports Update, I'm Chase Goff.